Louder! And it's time for the Gore and More Podcast. Gonna have a good time. Gonna have a good time. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We're going on now. A ball break, ball walking break. in and head in the moonlight. The moonlight. We'll be the sweet soul there. I swear, we'll never part. Going on a ball break, ball running break. in the sand, feeling all right. And what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Gormore Podcast. I am the not so mean fluff master supreme, Big Johnny D, bringing in as always. But of course, I do not bring this shit show in alone. No, I do not. For with me as always, oh, let's see what do I got in the bag. Last winter one, I have to do. Yeah. Thank fucking God. So, um, <laughs> how about the uh, the scary snowmen of the satanic solstice? Sure. Mm, Fucking okay. go with that. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> starting it off, we're going to go clockwise with the Dark Lord himself, Mr. Chad. Chad Daddy Chrisman. What's up, bitches? And from down south, we have the host with the ghost, El Scuba Cabra, Mr. Lord Scoo... Ah. Scuba Steve Vasquez. Sorry about that, Scoops. What's up, baby? Jesus. It's tripping over my tongue already. Hell and yeah. a, right below me mm, is the killer hey. machine himself, that meat mountain, that 100% Italian sausage, Mr. Bobby Amone. Oh, what's the door? And that strange face. <laughs> Very beautiful. <laughs> Uh, joining us from the other Project Louder podcast, Bros for Life, is Jesse. What's up, buddy? What's up, sexies? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, hey, he knows. <laughs> oh, man. So today uh, we got I was talking to the listeners, not you guys. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. That's oh, fine. Dick. We got Take a doozy out. of a fucking episode today. <laughs> and that would be <laughs> December 27th, 2021. <laughs> but first, as always... We like to dive in the little bit of a reality that we did in the past weekend. So, Scuba Steve, if you please, if you could please, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your Salah life. Very nice. So, Bobby, you want to start us off, and we'll go counterclockwise, bud. Sure. So, um, as everybody obviously knows, this past weekend was Christmas. Um, my Christmas was a little different this year. Um, a family member ended up getting COVID and was around us, so we really didn't travel anywhere on Saturday. We were home. So, I mean, I feel fine. I was sick last week, so I'm just waiting to go get tested. But, of course, like to get tested is like trying to get arrested. It's a bitch to get tests right now. So I'm just going about, well, kind of normal business, just masking up and kind of having a quarantine till I can get this test. So, but other than that, Christmas was good. We're on, we're still healthy, so we're good. Just not how we wanted to spend it, but it's life. It is what it is. Other than that, got some cool things for Christmas. Got myself a new set of headphones and some new horror DVDs. Nice. So those will be on play this week. Oh, what'd and, you get, buddy? Uh, let's see. I got, um, the special edition of um orphan on um, blu-ray and 4k or no they didn't do 4k blu-ray dvd i got a movie called baskin which i heard some really weird shit happens in this movie and so it got some really good reviews and then i got the double pack of uh, the houses october built which are two of my favorite movies so i ha i got those and then i got brand new marshall headphones yes the company that Ooh. makes the amps and they nice. make Probably the best headphones I've ever had, and they're better than Beats. And I'll stand mm. by that. Nice. nice. So, but that, you know, other than that, it was good. Just healthy. Nothing wrong with me. I don't. I don't know what that. Everybody, you know, just gotta get this test bullshit. And it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. But other than that, life's all right. I'm gonna go directly to my left. And this new gentleman here, and we're gonna go up. I want to hear what this new gentleman's got to say first. Jesse, uh, go for it. Yo, I'm I'm boring. I don't got anything going on. I mean, I'm off work, so that's nice. Um, PTO is coming in clutch there. Uh, I got like three different family things I had to go to for Christmas. That's always a nightmare. I only enjoy one side of my family, and that's like my side, like my mm -hmm. actual blood. I feel uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I get to see my cousins who are in my age range, and then we get to cause trouble together. Um, 
Well, that's always nice. N now know. that they're older, it's it's worse trouble than what we would do when we were kids. Yeah. yeah. Like before, it's like, oh, we'd run around a funeral home when somebody would pass, and we'd maybe almost get us kicked out. Now it's like, oh, what can we do at ages 16 to 19 to cause our parents as much of a headache as possible? Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed yeah. to be the responsible one. So whenever the parents come to me about something, I'm just like... Yeah, I didn't see that happen. I'm just gonna play it cool. I wouldn't let that happen. Yeah, no. Whatever you're talking about, like the one getting thrown off the balcony. Yeah, I didn't do that. I was I wasn't there around for that. <laughs> I, I definitely don't have it on video. I don't have it on video. I swear. Just um, remember, they might be 16, but they can still be tried as an adult. Yes. <laughs> Depending on the crime. <laughs> Depending yeah. on the crime. Yeah. No, uh, I got a few cool things for Christmas. I got some more Blu-rays. That's always nice. I, oh, yeah. I asked for more. I I got uh, Terrifier on Blu-ray. I got nice Lost yeah, Boys I on Blu-ray. Oh, what was that? So you got what? Lost, Lost Boys. Boys on Blu-ray. Uh, yeah. Miss Samar, which TJ, you know, he spoke his uh, feelings about that movie <laughs> to me. <laughs> but I I enjoy it. I like the art style of it. It's it's an acquired taste. Mm, it's not I as good. As, it's not as good as Ari Aster's first movie. I like Hereditary more. I uh, yeah, I still have not seen that movie. Really? Same. I was really? Not that that I yet. wasn't a huge fan myself, but I, I liked her I like Hereditary better than Midsummer for sure. I, I've seen Midsummer, but I've I have not seen Hereditary yet. Get on it, because honestly, like that's that was I think that was my first like on my own Blu-ray purchase when I started collecting that I bought. <laughs> really? To be honest with you, because like I saw it at the store and I had already seen the movie in theaters and I was like, I really like that. I might as well buy it. And then I was like, hey, I want more. And that's how that's how it all begins, doesn't it? That's how it starts. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, how it yeah. starts. Yep. Yeah, that's a dangerous game. I got an Amazon gift card, though, so I'll be buying more Blu-rays. <laughs> nice. Uh, and other than that, I honestly am blank. I got the Tony Stark glasses that I asked for for Christmas because I wanted to use them for cosplay so I could put together a Spider-Man uh far from home suit nice. and wear them with, yeah, the, with the glasses but here's the thing my mom actually surprised me because whenever i sent her the link to these glasses i didn't i thought they were just going to be cheap they're actually polarized and i was i was blown away i didn't think they'd be like good lenses but i'm like man i don't kind of want to don't want to wear these to a convention now because they might get broken. <laughs> <laughs> right that's, that's all yeah so my mom my mom gets gift of the year <laughs> nice. way to way to way to come in there clutch uh hot mom yeah, I'm, I'm to do it. oh yeah yeah we didn't introduce me as that we should have introduced me as the guy uh who you talked about with yeah the, the guy mom. with the hot mom from because i think I we, have talked. Yeah, from, we have we have talked we, about we, it yep. before oh yeah we wish she in oh um lord, lord of the, of the g, g strings yeah, yeah we'll her. posters it'll be fine we'll sell them at the next con <laughs> yeah april <laughs> she was an extra <laughs> was she really no, I don't. I don't know where this is I going. I don't know. I I re went. I had to go to my Facebook feed after I watched that episode to see what you were talking about, and I remember seeing that conversation. I went through, and it was her friend, like her girlfriend, that was like, "You don't recognize her," is what she said to you, yeah, implying that she was in the movie. And my mom, I showed my mom this, and she was like, "I didn't even realize Sue said that." Like she was like, she's trying to get me in trouble now. So yeah. I don't know. Either my mom's hiding something and she doesn't want me to know that she was an extra she could be. the G string. She could be. Or she's just as confused as I am. It could go either way. Right. <laughs> There's always the 50-50. Yeah. yeah. And the version the version in my head, she was in it. I'm sure. That's your head. <laughs> yes. That that is the Gorn Moore stance. We're that's the uh Gorn Moore rewrite. That's where we I guess. stand, and that's yeah. where we're gonna keep it toy. <laughs> that's where we're gonna keep Jesus it. Jesus Christ. Awesome. But yeah, no, I don't really got that much else going on. I'm just going to enjoy my time off. I got to put some tint on my car this week. Um, got that for Christmas. Somebody gave me a window tinting kit. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll slap that on. And I got to go. get it to the body shop to get some underglow because I'm Take that guy. your time. Watch them yeah. bubbles, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Watch them Brody. bubbles, buddy. Brody, come yeah, in right. touch with the comment. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes more sense now. Yeah, right. You don't want him. Maybe he's I read baby chubbed seal. up the first time anyway, so it's fine. Right, it's fine, Brody. I I understood what you were saying. It's cool. The dirty mind overcorrected it, anyways. Yes, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Scoop Steve, how you been, buddy? Man, I am enjoying week number two of vacation, but I feel blah right now. I just feel like so, like. 
dirty because I haven't been doing anything. Like I, I just feel so useless. I don't, mm. I, I, I don't know, man. Like I feel like I should be doing other Cook things some shit, with dude. my time. I did. I fucking cued it the fuck up yesterday, and man, even today, like I woke up and once again slept past twelve o'clock, which was fucking great. But I just, I don't know, man. Don't get me wrong. I love my vacation, but I just feel like I should be doing more because I have not done anything this weekend. I worked. I, I worked at the bar Christmas Eve. Uh, came home. The kids had, you know, I let them open up their presents and stuff. And I didn't really get a lot of shit. I, I, I want to say maybe I got like two things. One of them was a razor. I don't shave. And <laughs> then um, anywhere like you don't shave anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have clippers. I have clippers for the undercarriage. You know what I mean? Like you're, I, I already have. Saying... I already have my grooming tools for you that. You mean to tell me you don't got the Bob Ross downstairs? <laughs> no. I, well, sometimes. I mean, it depends. <laughs> It depends. Not in the summer. Winter? Yeah, no, <laughs> definitely. It's like summer here, 24, 365 days a year. It's always summer, right? so no, I do not. But uh, I got, I did get something cool, and I feel so old for saying this was the coolest present I got because it is really the fucking coolest present I got. I got a fucking water pick. Yeah! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> fucking oh, game changer, bro! Like, I went to the movies, and I ate popcorn, and... You know, usually I come home and I floss and I was like, I'm going to try this bad boy out. And I fucking had it on the lowest setting. I'm like, oh, this is cool. Let me crank this shit up. Goddamn, I feel like I just got back from the dentist. Like my teeth were like <laughs> yeah. fucking thick and span. Yo, and like, the best part is, man, like you can just straight up fucking get interchangeable heads. So uh, the whole family could just use your one. It came with like six. No, fuck them. They ain't touching my shit. That's my Yeah, shit. That's even better. Only. Or yeah. That's that. I don't share shit. No, man. It's on my side of the fucking sink. You don't touch my shit. <laughs> and we got two bathrooms anyway, so the kids are over there. But, you know, whatever. But um, that was it, man. Uh, I did find out that one of my um, one of my older cousins, he's uh, he's on his deathbed right now. Found out on Christmas Eve that uh, he had a stroke and he's not pulling through. So I don't I have not heard from my grandma today to find out if he passed yet. But um. Other than that, I mean, that's that's really all that's going on, man. What about you, Chad, Daddy? Well, I just want to say I'm sorry, you know, to hear about yeah, your cousin. Yeah, don't man, it, it, it happens, man. I mean, he's sorry. this is literally like, honestly, I want to say like maybe his 10th or 11th stroke that he's had. Hot he was on. Damn. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, man. He, um, and the, the, he's younger than my dad was. Um, he, he was my dad's cousin or he is my dad's cousin. Um, but he, uh. I don't know, man. Something just happened where he started having strokes and he was mm. in a nursing home and he had a stroke and they didn't find him till like later. So he just kind of never came out of it. So but, you know, it, 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 he's been suffering for a long time. So it, it's it's one of those things where we were we were we knew it wasn't going to be a long time before. So. All right. Our condolences. Yeah. Sorry to bring yeah. it down with that guy. <laughs> no, I right. Right. Is Fortunately, that is part of life. Yeah. Chad Daddy. Chad Daddy. Fuck. It's a demon. You got demons in your house? Chad Daddy's got a ghost. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh, I think it was. I think it was. We'll a send Scuba over. He'll take care. No, of I just heard it. it's like loud, loud rumbling. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck was that? I don't know if it was like a plow going by or what. Because we've only been in this house a couple weeks now, so you know, I don't know what the hell noise is learning inside. Things that I know by you now. Yeah, it's, it snowed like from fucking eight o'clock this morning. Huh. Nice. You're know, like oh, you get Je, Jesse lives down south down uh is it south of Pittsburgh, like Washington? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he lives down Fayette, there. They, actually. Fayette, they only got they only got rain and we got snow. Yeah, no, it it was pouring on my way home today. Like it was torrential downpour. My car was slipping out. That shit sucks, dude. I think I would rather drive through a snowstorm than that. Driving through Absolutely, yeah. man, because that shit, especially like if it still is getting as cold as it is here, that shit's gonna freeze regardless. So no, it's, it's like, like it's like fifty like now. Like it's comfortable, but oh, it's okay. still gross. Word. It was gross on Christmas because it like torrential downboard the entire day, and I was like, this doesn't feel like Christmas. It was, like, and it was I had a dream degrees. that it snowed, and I woke up and I was mad. Fuck you! It was, it was like eighty drizzling. degrees on Christmas here. Fuck it was like you. drizzling here. It wasn't like <laughs> you've never downboard. got snow on Christmas there, down there, Scuba. Come on. No, twice. Twice. He, we he, he mentioned he talked life. about yeah, it. Twice. He mentioned he twice. He's had it twice in my life. He said he ran All around. Right, like I respect a fucking that. little kid. Ah, uh, watch out, Chad. Your asshole is. 
Chad yeah, builds a house on an abandoned graveyard. Ghosts will eat his ass. I know. Uh, yeah, but like everybody brody. else, like everybody else, you know, just celebrated Christmas here. We kept it kind of kind of small. You know, our first Christmas at the new house. It was just my in laws came over and we had a little Christmas dinner. The kids got some really good presents. I got uh, okay. So here's the thing: like I got my wife got me a record player and three you know three albums to go with it she got me uh michael jackson dangerous nice uh, journey's Ooh. escape album which is their best Ooh. album ever and actually the se- season two of the mandalorian on vinyl but oh, oh nice and then she got me a few ps4 games and out of the ps4 games i think only one of them is fine all the rest the cases are are like damaged so bad and the record player was completely demolished because she ordered them on Black Friday. And when they shipped them, they just didn't fucking care. Like there was a big hole in the box of the record player. And you could just look inside and just see how smashed the player itself was. Wow. That's but I got it. I got dude. it. And ex- I exchanged it. It's fine. I haven't taken the new one out of the box yet. We just did that yesterday. So I haven't had a chance to play any music on it. So I'm hoping to get some really cool vinyl on that. Aside from that, you know, kind of got a couple, got a couple books, you know, a couple little. Oh, and the coolest thing. Uh, this might actually be a little bit cooler than the record player. I'm not sure. But my wife got me a sushi making kit. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. Along cool. with everything. She got me. She got me some salmon. She got me crab meat, avocados, cucumbers, all these seasonings like black sesame seeds and sesame seed oil, sriracha mayo, all sorts of cool stuff. So I, I'm hoping to get uh, get try and get some sushi made tomorrow night. There you go. So I'll let you go. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm coming over. I'm coming over now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to wait until tomorrow. I don't have time to do it tonight, buddy. I, t- I said tomorrow. I didn't say tonight. I'll be over tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Both of you to assume he won't crash on the couch and wait for food. Couch. I don't have a couch yet. It's still at the other place. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's on your bed, floor. baby. Yeah. Right. You get a big Air spoon? mattress, man. Air mattress. Air mattress, yeah. But, you know, aside from that, unfortunately, unlike the rest of you guys, this guy's got to work. Mm. That is... Mm-hmm. Are you are you hearing other shit now? It sushi is pouring nude. down rain here. Oh, hey, I kind of heard something as well. Brody says yeah. sushi in the nude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's no, up, bro? Oh. Oh. Be one more shrimp. I also I also want to give a shout out to my friend Alyssa Wood. That's my buddy from work. I call her Woody. She's my buddy. Uh, nice to ah. see her joining us for the night. <laughs> yes. What up, Woody? Joining in on the good old. Uh, right, talking about my Bob Ross. There. Talking about yeah. Bob Ross. Bob That's Ross. a good time to come in right there. I hope she just came in like two seconds before that. <laughs> um. <laughs> but you know, enough enough about me, uh, Big Johnny D. How about you, brother? Uh, I didn't do much, man. Enjoyed a uh, small Christmas like yourself. Uh, kept it nice and tight with the family, both sides. Uh, one side Christmas Eve, the next side Christmas Day. And yeah, man. Obviously, I don't. I didn't get anything physically because my thing is going to be produced and be given to me in two years time Uh, yeah (laughs) that's gonna be sweet (laughs) so essentially i just got to look at the proton pack bar graph of like that's how many people ordered it but my wife's like well you gotta have something to order so she did give me this sweet new fucking mini puff shirt nice Nice. uh, nice yeah i definitely fucking dig that and then we went as per tradition we always go shopping the day after christmas so we went shopping yesterday we hit up a mall we've never hit up and it was awesome man because it felt like straight up 1997 thank you that thank you for reminding me i love i I forgot to say this so yesterday uh it was 13 the 13 year anniversary for me and my wife we've been together 13 years as of yesterday so why you hit my mom then (laughs) <laughs> oh, because i can <laughs> but no um but uh so we went to lunch and we went to the mall to kill a little bit of time because it's gonna take her to go see spider-man right whip, whip. and so we go over to the mall and it's like 10 minutes before the movie's supposed to start and there's this huge fucking line out the door I'm like shit so wait in line we go up and there's still a nice line snaking around to the ticket booth and people are trying to get tickets and the lady's like the only tickets we have are for the four o'clock showing and there's four of them left and they're not together you i was like well i guess we're not seeing spider-man Shitty. damn but it gave us a chance to go around and do some shopping you know other stuff we wouldn't have had time to do so it wasn't a total loss you know we still had a good time no, nice. oh, sorry, John. Go ahead. I, I just wanted to, I, no, I wanted to tell cool, that story man. before I forgot. No, it's cool. Like, dude, so 
it was a small out in Rochester way, but like we, there's always one that we usually hit. The one in Syracuse, man, it's gone down to shit. So we're like, yeah, we're not going there because there's like a shooting every other fucking day there. Like not somebody's getting shot, but there is gunfire. So it's still like, nope, good. <laughs> um, Fair enough. Yeah. So we're going to go over to. So we went to this one place. And I got to say, man, out of this whole entire mall, it might have had like two vacant store slots in the entire wow. mall, which is in fucking insane in today's age. Like, yeah. honestly. And but this is like old school, like early 90s mall, dude. So it's like all glass ceiling with the bulbs like every two feet. Like, you know, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. If you've been there, you fucking know, dude. It's like, holy shit. And we left with literally like bags all in our hand. And I'm like. What the fuck year is this, dude? Like, I haven't gone <laughs> mall shopping in fucking ever, dude. Like, nice. like we do, but I never like. I bought new flannel sweep sleepwear. I'm like, yo, I got the whole week off. I'm gonna fucking be living comfy, so I got me some new sleep pants. <laughs> nice. uh, daughter spent a bunch of stuff. She got like a new Pokemon game and shit like that. And dude, so we went to there's a a Target behind it. We went to oh. it. Daughter and I were like, yo, we'll go. Wife wanted to look at something. We're like, we'll go check out the toys. Or what I thought we would do. Dude, I have never seen a toy. And now, granted, I understand it's after Christmas. I do get that. And I know things are going to be scarce. Holy fuck, dude. I have never seen a toy store, toy, toy section like that bear. It was ridiculous, oh, dude. Maybe, maybe four random toys per aisle out of eight wow. aisles. Complete. And I'm like, wow. that's bad. Holy fuck. And mo- half of the shit's like shit. But for yeah. some reason, and I don't know why, like they had two end caps worth, plus like a whole nother fucking aisle randomly of this Jurassic Park fucking the Jeep and the T-Rex with Tim for 50 bucks, dude. Like, and they had a fuck ton of them. And I'm like, man, that's actually pretty cool. So I'm almost <laughs> going to get it. But I'm like, no, I do not need a $50 fucking like, I just don't. <laughs> I just don't have room for you it. You do, but you don't. <laughs> yeah. I want it, but I can't. Yeah. Like, I can't justify dude. it. I was the same the other day. We went to Walmart and I saw the two pack of the the Christmas Gremlins. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. yeah that, and it's fifty bucks, and that's like as as cheap as you can get two NECA figures. Right? I was just oh. about to fucking p- b- bust this out and be like, I found this at Walmart, which I, I want it for this. I want it, but I just don't have anywhere for it right now. Well, uh, I uh, bought it because I was going to open it and put it in my Christmas tree because obviously my Christmas tree is Gremlins. <laughs> But Chad's in the point, dude, where he's literally like, he just had Christmas. So he just right. got dumped on with another bunch of shit, right? On top of, he's still fucking on packet. Yeah. You know what I mean? He doesn't need more shit on top of the shit he's still got to fucking get out. That's why I never want to move. I never want to move. Yeah. Because I look over and I'm like, fuck. You know what, though? Every once in a while, like, even though you, moving sucks, moving fucking sucks, bro. Mm-hmm. But you get some, you get rid of some shit you would never get rid of unless you were moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Especially if you're downsizing. Oh, dude, I got rid of so many shirts and everything. Oh yeah. And I've still got a ton in there in the closet. But all right, let's wrap this shit up. We'll get in the movie. So yeah, dig. I forgot we're here for the movie. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Right? Yeah. No, yeah. we're not here just to talk about Christmas shit all day long. Even though we're sitting behind, we you could. Or whatever. So. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's Deadpool, exactly. by the way, that just commented. Oh, nice. How do I see that? What's that? In the, the chat? Yeah. Oh, he doesn't see it's the right comments. here to the side. You don't see the comments to the side? No. What? <laughs> what? Maybe Did you link it? You Mac? linked it to your Facebook, right? Uh, No, that's probably why. Oh. It shouldn't matter, dude, because it's still po- like Brody's on yeah, YouTube. Like, it wouldn't, yeah, it it's part of the restream. Right. It should, be, it should yeah. just be there on the side. Anyway, so yeah, had yeah. some fun stuff. Uh, and the best part of Christmas for me so far, man, has been not only that a new Halo has dropped and not only that I have an entire week off to play this shit, but so many new people got new Xboxes and shit, dude. And oh, my God, it's like, bro, I started a match the other day, lit up, <clears throat> took a sip of tea. And I'm like, all right, let's see how we go. It's just me and my buddy. Bro, I pulled out 31 and 8 right on my first match. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> God damn! Right, there dude. it is. Like, I, I found it. Paying, I wasn't even paying attention. That, what's that, dude? He I said it. I found it. I didn't mean to cut you off, but <laughs> ah, you're good, bud. I was in full screen, and I was like, "What are you talking about, dude?" Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh that's, you know. what I, that's what I thought. So basically, you're you're shooting, you're playing against a bunch of noobs, then, bro. It's been yeah, like it's been noob city, and it's like it sucks when you see them like all on your team, and you're like, 
oh man this is gonna suck dude my back's gonna <laughs> hurt but uh it's fucking awesome man because it's just like i said dude it's cream of the crop dude it's like <laughs> it's like knee grinder the cream but, of the crop <laughs> fucking a so enough about all this shit let's talk about yeah, what let's we talk about this talk about today and scuba steve what is that and we are talking jack frost and not the kid-friendly movie the horror version released november 18th 1997 so plot rundown death row serial killer jack frost is on his way to his execution in the middle of a snowstorm a freak accident with a truck filled with experimental acid changes his life and transforms him into a killer snow and to a killer man made of snow free to begin his rampage anew the town of Snowminton, home of Sam Tiller, the sheriff that put him away, is his is first in his path of destruction. After making short work of several of the town's inhabitants, FBI agents arrive to take control of the situation. Now they must team up with Sheriff Taylor to put an end to the killer snowman and save what's left of the town. That description yeah. makes this movie sound way better. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, does. Does. It, sounds, it sounds good on paper, but... <laughs> It's Take certainly. it away, Bob. Absolutely. Directed by Michael Cooney, Jack Frost, and Jack Frost 2. Written by Jeremy Page and Michael Cooner. Uh, tracks of a Killer, Identity. Produced by Jeremy Page, Tall, Dark, and Deadly. Sounds like, uh, sounds like me. Uh, murder, <laughs> murder in Mind. Uh, Vicky Slotnick, Tall, Dark, Deadly, and Tracks of a Killer. It's a lot of movies there that are the same name. Say that twice as fast. Right. <laughs> Starring Scott, McDon Scott McDonald, Star Trek Enterprise as Jack Frost. Christopher Alport, Invaders from Mars. Another great movie. As Sam Tyler. Stephanie, uh, Stephen Mendel, Scanner Cop 2. Ninja Turtles, The Next Mutation. As Agent Manners. F. William Parker, Little Giants as Paul Devereaux. Eileen Seeley, Batman Forever, as Ann Tyler. Rob LeBelle, Wes Craven's New Nightmare and Watchmen, as Agent Stone. Zach Edgington, yeah, we're going to say it like that, mm -hmm. as Ryan yeah, Tyler. <laughs> Close enough. Jack Lindine, Thelma and Louise, as Jack Metzner. Kelly Jean Peters, Poltergeist to the other side, as Sally Metzer. Marsha Clark, as Marla. And the beautiful. <laughs> and young down boy <laughs> shannon elizabeth from american pie jay and silent bob strike back as jill metzer yeah buddy Boobie Jesse, kitty fuck. can you take it away sir are we ready there we are all at right. music we are at music all right music by chris anderson day of the dead to contagion carl Sch what is that shirts? Shirts yep. looks yep. like shirts. Shirts yeah. looks like shirts. <laughs> Cinematography by Dan Lent, Children of the Corn, The Gathering, Class of 1999, Two, The Substitute. Edited by Terry Kelly, Tammy and the T Rex. Yeah. Beavis and Butthead, Do America. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Classic. Hey, they're pretty cool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> effects and makeup <laughs> screaming mad george society yeah. the <laughs> the, the guyver fuck the yeah, guyver dude. guyver fuck dude, you the Can, guyver is, is, is one screaming of... his actual first name because that's no it's, it's, not. It, it's it's not no he got it, that it, name it, from it, nightmare on elm street four that's, that's they don't even sick. know they don't even know why he's called that name you know the sad I thing is I, it does, you don't done, need to it just he's done like a lot of work and this is by far his least yeah yeah this is bottom this movie or not because he's done some fantastic work he, he was partially responsible for that freddy torso in part four i mean dude just watch oh. the guy just watch the guyver i mean yeah like, a thousand times different but you got to think too money you know what i mean money what, is what, everything what budget yep. If, yep oh yeah if you, yeah, if you got, you know, a couple this, million versus like, you know, hey, man, we got 15 grand. Do we, do we know the budget of this movie? No, nope. we'll get there. No. Oh, we don't. We'll there. No, because no, it's just some long looking at that. Yeah, keep Distributed reading. Distributed by Apex Entertainment. Runtime, 89 minutes. Uh, 89 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. <laughs> <laughs> MPAA rating R. Don't know the budget, I guess. Grossed. Not available either. 
Okay. Because it was direct to video. I'm going to bring this up real quick because we're already in general discussion. That time, up, says, that time says 89 minutes. I found three versions of this movie then. One really? was 89 minutes. One was 90 minutes. The other was 105 minutes. And huh. I, I think serious. I, I'm guessing the extended cut. There's like a director's cut, kind of. It, it doesn't Must say be. what it is. Know. It's they're all on different streaming platforms. So the the one that's longer I watched was on Pluto TV. There really isn't that much of a difference. I watched it on Pluto also. That's where I watched so it. So then you must have I just got watched the it on Prime. Version. So we'll, we'll get there. I watched we'll get it on Peacock, say Not jumping so ahead or anything. Yeah, not jumping ahead. Uh, no, I just had yeah. to bring that up right away because I'm like, so I didn't pay attention to what my Not much of a difference. Was. And I'm like, so I still lost a lot of time Same. watching this movie. <laughs> four so times. I feel like four feel times. Like four times. Going, yeah, four times. Let me be real. Going from yeah. Ginger Dead Man into watching this, I had very low expectations for this film. Yeah. I've That's seen fine. the cover, I've seen That's the movie fine. cover, and I was not disappointed with this movie the way I was with Ginger Dead Man. The one thing that I give this movie, the one liners were on fucking yes. point <laughs> in this fucking movie. Yeah, yes. yeah, there was there were some killer ones, that's for sure. Oh, do we have best one liner? That's what we should have added. We should have. Oh, fuck. I think we could even add, we could easily add that in at one point. Yeah, everybody yeah. remembers any. I did forget oh, I, to mention. I know mine. <laughs> I did start watching the other Ginger Dead Man movies. <laughs> you did say uh -huh. that, and I got about halfway through the second one. And you guys saw the video I sent you, <laughs> and the reaction <laughs> on my face. I'm not even going to say that because I don't even know if I want to describe that for our audio listeners. So let me just say the the production value definitely steps it up. I feel like it's way more solid of a script and potential like everything else. Obviously, there's no Busey. But oh, my God, dude, do they like. It's at it's at a schlock film studios, so it's already like there's schlock films within the schlock film. And bro, they go fucking ham for the schlock and that shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll see if I finish it and make it to three. But <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to make it to three. That's the one where he goes back in time to the disco. Correct. They made three of those. They did. Four. No, they made more because after the third one, they he versus Evil Bong. So he goes in the tie off series with the fucking Evil Bong, dude. Yeah, dude, it's ridiculous. So. I forgot uh, they made a sequel to this movie, to be honest with you. They, I they think did. there's three of these as well. Yeah, there's three. No. I think there's three. No, there's only two? two. No. Oh, okay. oh, there's only two. Okay. I've I only ever seen... I, I mean, I never watched it, but I've seen it pop up. I've uh, seen the it. Second it's, one. Not, it's not good. All right. <laughs> so this was always Bossman's favorite, so we decided to throw the shit bag on there because we've been talking about for what? Three years now? Solid? It's been a while. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, this was my first actual solid watch through, Not and it was definitely way better than last week's. I will give it oh. 100% credit right yes. there, yes. first yes. and foremost. Uh, I love Gary Busey, but Ginger Dead Man, like, even he couldn't save that piece. Uh, wow. So that was a delightful, nice little like add-on that we actually were watching a little bit better of a movie. Way better story, way better direction, a lot better... But the, but the the creature effects were but there was very down. there was um not only that but the kills were also all cutaway kills yeah kind of like which was kind of eh but i mean the the effects of the actual kill were yes. kind of yes were yes really no good. no no the after effects shots of the deaths were great yeah and i'm not gonna say they're not and i don't know man there was something about just a giant fuzzy white glove in every scene <laughs> it looked like an oven like, mitt it did, it did. that's yeah. exactly it was an oven mitt but like arm length and i'm like, like spray painted it. white to make it look like it was just a snowman's arm he looked more like okay so did he look more like a gingerbread man than a snowman especially Kinda, when yeah he, didn't have his, he, he actually looked yeah he looked like a better gingerbread like, man than ginger than Gary fucking Busey, dude that's what <laughs> i thought okay, why why couldn't they made him look as cool as the snowman on the box cover yeah, like why? Yeah. Okay, so that was an interest. That's an interesting uh, side topic. That's something with just old box art, dude. There was always random dick teases that you never got. You know what I mean? Like, 
artists yeah, just that's... didn't know where to go and they were just like they had an idea they're like all right cool make this and they're like all right looks awesome I, I, I... you get something close to it but nothing to that like and this angle this was it. this seemed to be like the least mobile of any movie monster we've ever seen most of the shots of the snowman moving are just like this figure being pulled along on a dolly yeah this yeah, it, this it is one of the made movies, it hilarious. This is one of the movies where I feel CGI would have worked better than practical effects. In 97? It, yeah. Even in 97. Not back bro. then, but even in, in 97, yeah. dude. I, yeah, man. I because they oh, could have no. done, I mean, even if it was fucking claymation, it would have been claymation I, I, I would argue yes. Yeah. Because that would not be like, oh, yeah. which, is, which is funny cuz read Brody's comment right there. They should have made him like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Mr. What what the hell was his name? Was it Mr. Bad Mr. Frosty? Bad Mr. Frosty, yep. Ah, dude. Clay Fighter 63. Clay Fighter 63 and a third. It was a fucking amazing game. Um, That just sidetracked me completely. Now I'm fucking thinking about that shit. (laughs) Uh, uh, This movie. I mean, is this everybody's first watch? No. It was my first watch. It was my first Uh, watch. First time in probably ten years. Okay, so yeah, no, it's been a while since again. I've revisited it purposefully. Okay. But all right, I will say this about the, I will say this <laughs> about this. This movie had potential. Oh, oh yeah, through was, the roof. Like, <laughs> I, I said this before the show. It might be hard to describe, but they should have done this movie. Or I see where they were going. They tried to do it like the nineteen eighty eight version of the Blob, where it's. A genetic thing now he could turn into a snowman kind of deal now had you kind of kept that concept and kept it terrifying oh we could have had such a better movie but then i said this is a decent movie you'll tolerate yeah it's not a decent movie in the sense of it's a decent movie go check it out it's more like it's a decent one you're going to tolerate don't kill me later for trying to recommend it to not not that you know. you'll tolerate it because it is a fun movie it yeah, is a, it, it is. was a yeah, fun it watch is. it's not a completely horribly shitty fucking just trash movie it was fun it had a good premise mm-hmm. killer fucking snowman especially going off of the original jack frost movie you could have got parents could have gotten these two movies com- fucking completely fucking uh mistaken it had and okay, their kids okay, scary movie I, i've and, done i've done that you yeah just, everybody did right, that dude that was a blockbuster like fucking you take, must you take it out of the block put the other yep, one in there you, you, you want to know yep. how many christmases are probably ruined I'm cool with that <laughs> a lot yeah it was only a year apart this isn't michael yeah. keaton <laughs> yeah exactly but i mean what? and it wasn't it was not a horrible fucking movie we've no. seen some fucking horrible movies Ginger this Dead, man. This, yeah, maybe three, we're looking at you. This mm. is, I mean, it's not the best movie we've ever watched, but it is a fun fucking movie that I, I mean, fuck, I'd watch it again, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll never watch fucking Amityville 3 again or fucking Ginger mm. Dead Man again. Nope, never. But I would watch this again. Like, this is one that I feel that this I could, could be sit a there. Christmas classic turnaround. Like, yes. easily you could throw it in a mix. Yeah. Like, all right, Jack Frost is in there. Yeah, okay. But I it's not at the top of your list, but no, it's no, no, not no. at the bottom of your list. You no. know this what is, I mean? This is something you'd put on like a movie or two before you'd watch Santa's Sleigh. Because you got to yes. kind of build up to that masterpiece. Yeah, I did watch twice over the weekend. I didn't nice. get a chance to. I really wanted to. It was on fucking, was it on Peacock? It's on Peacock or one of the other ones there. But see, yeah, I feel, love that movie, I, dude. I see here, my whole thing with this movie is like it's not a bad movie, like Lord Scuba said. But what I felt should have been done is he obviously got turned into a snowman. What they should have done is somehow throughout the movie, as he, they should have had him kind of turn back, kind of almost to the human form a little bit. But yeah, they, I but, wanted but, that as well. So, so but it, what it needs to be is he can't look completely human. It would have had to have been like he is a misshapen human now trying to go back to human. Then he ha- keeps going back and forth between snowman, human, snowman, I disagree. human. I think he could go T-1000 look, but he would just be white. Yeah, that's kind of what mm. I'm thinking too. Because honestly, yeah, but, and, man, but that, in my but head, that, watching this or, out the whole time. In order for him could, to die, though, he has to die as a snowman for sure. It, well, yeah, I, I feel that because that's going to be in his DNA. That's what's. Gonna I'm not going to lie, dude. Like, I want to take this, but wake it, make it an actual like dark ass horror movie, dude. Yes. Almost along the lines of like the new Invisible Man. You yeah. know what I mean, yeah. dude? But like, make it to that extent where like, okay, yeah, he still does the hiding around as a snowman thing, 
But dude, when he kills people and shit, dude, like he's like straight up Hydro Man and Spider Man. Yeah, you know you know what I mean? like, awesome. dude, like he's drowning motherfuckers, dude. He oh, can I mean, even yeah, Ice Man, like, like fucking, he could just anything, like, any, any ice, of that like, shit, dude. Through, Whatever, yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but give him a little bit more of like a horrifying, solidifying thing, and, and then like make it gory. Give us, some the, give us the crazy like cover art snowman too. For what you know what I mean, like even because if he just turns into that one second, there was really him. nothing that said he had to be in that snowman form. No, he there, chose that. Yeah, he chose that. So he could have been, he could have been a fucking anything. Snow. He could have been an ice sculpture. Yeah, if he wanted to. He could have been whatever the fuck. He Dude, wanted. he could have, he could have been a fucking like a bear made of snow with big icicle claws. And you know what? That's I what give saying, this movie with today's CGI. Oh, dude. I give this movie the the that like the praise that they didn't go the voodoo route no yeah. no, no no yeah i, I love like that they didn't chemical go that action dude. yes no, chemical chemical is always better than voodoo for me can we talk about that aspect. shot dude the shot where he gets hosed that was great yeah dude, that was straight <laughs> evil dead. Well, yeah yeah i mean and you could totally tell he was like laying down and they were just pouring oh pouring yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, and that's like, Oh. And that's why, like, if he were to go to human form again, he needs to be that melted one because that's how we all saw him going to the snowman form. Give him that. He, give him that ugly look. Like, come on. His origin is very, very much in the same vein as Swamp Thing. It yeah. is, dude. Like, yeah. he, this is this is easily super villain origin. Like, and he honestly, just the moments we got when he was live, well, human. Uh, I love this character, dude. Like he fucking played it awesome. He oh. kind of felt like he was doing a Jim Carrey impression to me. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that. why. <laughs> I, that's hair, just the vibe I get. But his hair looked like Jack Torrance when the cop yeah. saw him on the side of the road. Yeah. Now here's here's an issue I had with the whole you know after the crash scene. Okay, mm -hmm. so the sheriffs are transporting him right. In uh, what what I forget what the name of the vehicle was on the side, and I'm like, okay, first of all, that does not exist. They wouldn't say like prisoner, whatever the fuck it said on there. I was like, I that's okay, whatever, but that's not. So they wreck, right? He doesn't check on his partner one to see if his partner's alive. Two, it, when he walks around that back and see that Jack's not in there, he doesn't automatically reach for his gun. This yep. dude is a psychotic killer. <laughs> Why would you not fucking reach for your gun That's and then when he does? Oh! No! Oh! Nice. Snip fucking oh, snip. Where is he? Ah. Well, well, well. Howdy fucking dirty there, gentlemen. It is all you of DKB here back for another episode of Goromore. And this week I'm here to talk to you about Jack Frost. Now, Jack Frost is one of them films that I used to see in every local VHS store back in the day. Sadly enough, I never ever got the chance to watch it. Even though it had that really fucking awesome artwork where you'd walk past it, it was like a 3D panel and it would change. Mm -hmm. That was, shit was fucking dope, especially for the 90s. And, yeah, I'm actually dirty on myself that I never ever got to watch it back then. I know Mr. Bowser was trying to push me to watch this a couple of months ago, <laughs> and I got halfway through it, had to go and do something else, and I'm glad we're doing it for today because then I got to actually finish it and talk about it. Now, I'm going to say the lead actor, the sheriff in this, I thought he could actually act. He was actually really decent in this Yeah, film. he was a bad. Um, I don't know if that's mainly due to the fucking other actors that surround him are fucking hopeless and they make him look good. <laughs> I still think if you're able to put him in a bigger budget film is, today. Is Brody like wired on caffeine then, you know, in this video again? Like he was still wearing like it it. And, you know, be a decent actor. He's not pooping this time. Um, yeah. <laughs> the overall premise of this film, not to be taken He was too pooping serious. during one? I think it's still fucking Last decent week. what they were able to do with a serial he killer on fucking <laughs> <It was> snowman. <laughs> so um, I think they kind of pulled it off. I watched it, it twice. It's very fun to watch and see how they pulled it off. Um, what else? What else? I mean, the cinematography in this is nothing to really rave on about. It's, it's just your standard stuff. I mean, the lighting was kind of cool, like the overall color palette and tone where it was that blue and give you that cold yep. snow-like feeling. I think they did a reasonably good job for that. Um, the kills in this, yeah, it was interesting to watch, especially when uh, Jack Frost fucks someone to death. That was <laughs> the chick out of American Pie. I can't think of her fucking name, but you will know. Um, yeah, I mean, it was a fun film. For what it was, it was a fun film, and it was definitely better than last week's fucking 
Gary Busey, Ginger Dead Man fucking film, I'll tell you that one. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, what more can I say than I've already said? Definitely check it out. I mean, just get fucking baked, drunk, and suss this shit. Mm-hmm. Anywho, this is your DKB, giving it a Gormor score of a 2.8. Mm. Um, y'all wow. might, just might think that's high, but I think that's I was going to say it's a little high. Me, anyway, so anyway, it's DKB signing out. I will catch you, Mother Liquors, on the next episode, potentially next year. Mother Liquors. He's talking to you, Chad. Fun. Oh, no, he's talking to you, buddy. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Yeah, okay, that scared the right. shit out of me when, it, when mom, it started playing. Might, might I add, that was <laughs> perfection, Johnny D. That was perfection. Right there. <laughs> yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyways, you were talking about the uh, cop. Yeah, he should have fucking for... pulled his gun right away and then just fucking killed him, and it had been done. But, of course, then there wouldn't have been any movie. But it just, it just irked me so bad that he did not pull his gun immediately after seeing that Another this thing... dude. Another thing about there. that. Another thing about that scene is where did that guy's partner even go? He was there. You saw his leg. Yes. He was, yeah, his but after that, after on. that, you don't see him again. Like after when they, they come back to the scene when they. I thought he's he died. Sick, I Who was know. the one that survived and told the FBI agent about like Jack morphing? That was the driver. The, oh, that was, was the that driver. the driver yeah. himself? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't tell if that was him. Then or there was his a guy partner. in the back, and then there was his partner up front. And what was what? <laughs> It was so weird. Why the hell were they wiping the window with tinsel? Dude, is that what they were using? <laughs> so make it yes, that's, that's, yeah, that's scene, exactly and the fact using. that they're wiping the inside, trying to get the snow off, and you just tell yeah, it was right. shot it was just off like, location. It wasn't shot in a truck. <laughs> yeah. They're like, yo, get behind this glass that we're just going to put a windshield wiper mechanism. Like, and I had to, yeah, write, I had to write down... I had to write down a note that this movie, like, it was so cheap. The budget was so low. They couldn't even afford an actual car crash. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, they just, it just spun could, the camera. You could also <laughs> tell that when they were driving and you see the snow coming across, if you just look at the road, there's no snow on it. It's just a lot of snow going across the screen, making it, it look like they actually got... through there. And how about how about those awesome snowmen in the fucking snowman building contest that look Dude, like are... they're made of fucking coconut? Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> the, yes, coconut. Yes. yes. Her tits hey, were made of coconut. But did you notice? Did you notice when uh when Shannon Elizabeth is there talking to the dude? She's got her hand like on the on snowman the and she's like rubbing the titty. Yep. She's <laughs> and I'm like, was that intentional or is that just something that she did? Lucky That's, snowman. What? She felt that and was like, ooh, future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. She's like, hmm, I think I could go that size. So Jesse, you were asking about last week there, bud? That's all well and good. Oh, boys. God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Snip, fucking snip. Well, well, well. Howdy fucking doody there, gentlemen. It is all your DKB here back for another episode of Goromor. And this week I'm here to talk to you about the ginger dead man from my humble abode. Yes, luxurious batch pad in Kalgoorlie. Although you won't find much in this crib. Because all other than the fact that I just destroyed the fucking toilet <laughs> 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Still just as funny. Uh, <laughs> all right, sorry you, sorry for listeners, sorry viewers, but <laughs> he happened? sent me. So originally he sent me a really quick, like up to that where it ended it, just to make sure, like to, to see if it, I like you know to run it by somebody before I played it. I was like, absolutely, dude. So I still had that snippet saved. So I <laughs> Brody screwed himself on that one. <laughs> we were dying. we're gonna turn that into a soundbite at some point. Just, <laughs> oh. just I need that. I need that for my Twitch screens when I get Wait, my. No, can we get his? Can we get his face and make it a meme, please? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, Brody. We love you. <clears throat> we love you, Brody. Absolutely. Came out my head. Was it the Algonqu- <laughs> the Algonquin shit demon? <laughs> but once again, man, this movie, especially in comparison to the just craptastic movie we watched last week and had to trudge through, this one I felt like was decently paced. It felt like a legit movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, maybe not like this is getting into maybe like Tremors 2 to Tremors 3 quality of film, I would say. You know what I mean? Like, so okay, it's still yeah. really, it's still decent. It's not great by any means. Uh, yeah, buddy, I will share it with everybody. <laughs> That's Brody, by the way. He says, share it to the world. Um, and we shall. A new message from Project Louder. Uh, are you guys picking up a dog snoring in the background and all? No, nope, you are no. good. Okay, 
we go, and he is good to sleep. Uh, we will let the puppy sleep. I mean, what else do we have to discuss, gentlemen? Or should we let Chad spread the? Uh, I would like cheeks? to. I would like to discuss the distinct lack of boobage in that. Back yes, scene. but she didn't uh, have any yet. But here's the yeah, thing: yeah. see how old was she? How old was she when mm. she filmed this? She was probably well, came seven. Out, I was well, seventeen. I would say she's older because she is actually my sister's age. She's three years older than me, and she was born in seventy three. So even if they filmed this in ninety three, she would have been like twenty. Oh, but they oh, did. So she so was, she was definitely a shit, dude for sure. Maybe she just at the time. What, what year was American? Uh, what year was ninety ninety nine? I think. So two years she's, she's think, say, 48 yeah. right now. Damn, she yeah? was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So she was 34 in American Pie, and that came out in 99. So she was 32? When what? did this come out? 97? Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No sense. She's 30. She was 34 when she got her first big break in 99 as Nadia in... No, 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 no. Not if she was born am... in 73. Not if she was born in 73. She'd have been 24. Oh, three. Oh, she's 30 years old. That's what it says on Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten oh, Tomatoes has got that wrong. Math. Stick with it. Anyways. <laughs> yes, Chad, I want you to spread them snowman cheeks and let, let's get, give us a good old look at that you know snowman blue knot. You know, I do got to mention one scene, though, that you mentioned that, and it just kind of made me laugh, and my wife and I both quite, like looked at each other and questioned it. Dude, she just spent a solid 20 minutes drying her hair. Longer, drying yeah, her and hair. then just and to get the back into a fucking okay, bag. Yeah. I was going to say, I I was gonna say whoever, me off. <laughs> whoever edited this film probably got that backwards, because I yeah. feel Well, she would have like, been dead at that point. Yeah, but well, she would have yes, been dead, right. But... but Unless they weren't going to kill her that way to begin with, and then they changed it or something. Because why the fuck would you blow dry your hair and go and then go bath. take a bath? Right? Like why, her was hair she, was, why was she blow drying her hair when it was dry to begin with? I and do we know who actually know. filmed the bathtub either? We don't, because it wasn't Jack in the water to begin with. And right. she thought the, the boyfriend poured it, but he was dead at that point, too. Yeah, so, yeah. so who that, filled the tub that, with hot water? That's yeah. a very good question. Jack did. He was the hot water. The the director because he wanted to see her strip. <laughs> watch, yeah, no, our man. <laughs> yeah, rump, they're like, nice yo, rump. we need to get these close up shots of your legs and your shoulders, and, and then uh, hey, slowly snacks, tease knick the knick guys. Here, guys. With what? Click you know? snacks and more. No, wow. Wow. Oh, no. we need to have a conversation. We need to get you what? on the show. We need to get you on this show. It needs to happen. That's a that's a hot take. Valentine's that is a very hot take. Very hot take. Now I could argue maybe gingerbread. Ginger Dead Man 2 versus this, but I wouldn't first argue one, the first one. one. That's for hey, sure. you know what? We need to flip flop it at some point and watch the Ginger Weed Man. There's a Ginger Weed Man? There's a Ginger Weed Man. <laughs> Hold on. Yo, no, John's voice went from a. There's a Ginger Weed Man? Listen, I got a whole week <laughs> off, dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Give me That's all right. the shitty movies. Ginger, Ginger weed, weed man. man. Wow, he looks like oh my fucking God. ass, dude. Right? Oh, what is fuck? that? <laughs> He's also full moon? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It, it's, it's probably like their love child or something. Wait a minute. Is he? Yeah, is he? He's the love child of fucking Evil Bong and fucking Ginger Dead Man. God damn it. Is he really? I'm oh, guessing. That's right. Oh, Evil my Bong's a female. God. Oh, that's fucked up. Because oh, it looks no. like here he is. It looks like he is in a like bong case of some kind on the cover, but he so, wow. It says the ginger weed man runs a successful dispensary delivery service catering to a wide array of wacky clientele. But when he gets charged with protecting little baby buddy, a mysterious super strain weed dude that is wanted by every bad vibe in the city, mad misadventures <laughs> follow. What? The oh my fuck? god! Not every I'm bad done. vibe in the city. Oh, wait, when we are done, you you can that is buy, stoner humor can, at its finest, right there. This wait, this came out this year? Yeah, this movie is brand new. You could go on Nightmare Toys and buy the ginger weed man long. resin statue for $34.99. What kind of resin? That's it. I'm a buy it. I'm going to send it to you. What kind of resin, guys? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm a buy it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's fucking insane, dude. I feel I like there's they went be that a deep. there's a strain of weed out there named after that movie. You know what? Now. <laughs> Fuck it, though, dude. If Chucky can have a goddamn kid, why can't Ginger Dead Man? You know what I mean? Like... That's all they were trying to mimic in the first place anyway. Well, right? the, the statue comes with a little bong. How about that? <laughs> a real bong? 
I was just about to say, it's probably like that big. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have a mini bong, dude. (laughs) You (laughs) can have. Yeah. Crazy. Once, and then twice. It's uh, not even a one hit, dude. It's like a fucking. (laughs) I will say that this movie that we're talking about, it's a much better watch when you're high. Yo, the t- yes. the taglines <laughs> for Ginger is Weed, on man. point on that. With uh, it definitely helps. Oh my god, there is there is a character named Smokahontas. <laughs> Yo, the taglines for this movie. I are thought the Snow Man Tom as a hide town your was pretty bad. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> we're not talking about Weed Man. We yeah, we're not. Okay, do. we gotta get back on track. Okay, so yeah. like I said, this Ripping this is actually here. Shannon Elizabeth's first acting role in a movie and her first nude scene, but you didn't see anything. Uh, she filmed this before she got the breast implants. She reveals an American Pie in 1999. Mm, baby, mm-hmm. that's how she had a role. The God yeah. of- oh, is that your fun fact? <laughs> that is one of them. You just look up when she got her breast implants. That's something you can find on the internet, you, like the exact date. You dude, you can find anything. It. You can find, you can find anything on the internet. Here's my uh, records, dude. One actor who read for the little Jack Frost pulled a knife at his audition. <laughs> he wanted to really show that he could go crazy. <laughs> that wow. man's name is Gary Busey. No, oh, no, I made that, oh, I made that oh, up. Oh fuck! That is like oh, that is very much a BC thing. See, see, that's that seems like something he could do. Yeah, and you believed it. I would have believed it had you never said. I would have been like, "Wow, yes, Tyler, we want the yeah, research. Yeah. Go put it on after this." Though. Continue. Up. The film was initially going to be directed by Rennie Harlan with a thirty million dollar budget. Holy shit! Wow, dude, yeah. imagine what they could have done with that. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, what could we got with thirty mil? Oh. Probably I mean, we're not like getting T2 level of uh, CGI, but I feel like you could have definitely put some way more impressive CGI scenes and stuff in there of him. Like, I mean, he did that. Stuff. He did that two years after this with Deep Blue Sea. Damn, thirty mil, dude. That would have been impressive. That would have been very yeah. Because oh, well. what could have been the budget for this was nowhere. Fuck no, yeah, I, I wouldn't even maybe a, million. a quarter of that. If I would even that. pay a million. If it was a million, I'd be shocked. Yeah. Right. Here's seventy five thousand. If go. you so, told me that yeah. this was a student film, and I'm not dissing it, but if you told me it was a student film, I would probably believe you. I would give it more props if it was. Actually, yeah, honestly, yeah, I say that. Right. Okay, the movie what was shot. You, movie was shot in the winter during a drought year when there was no snow on the ground, according to actor Scott McDonald. Hmm. The temperature went as high as seventy degrees. Foam and cotton swabs had to be used as substitutes. Yeah, like a we lot couldn't. Of like swabs. we couldn't right. tell. What was the suit made out of? Do we know? Felt. And look like felt. Yeah, it had to have been felt. <laughs> I liked it. I don't know. Yeah. God, it felt like one of those old village snowmen, dude, like that your grandma had with like the blue villages and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 You know. yep. Yep. That's how I got yep. it. Maybe that's what they were going for. Right. Which is I fine. And like I said, I liked it. It just, <laughs> I feel like if it would have just been a little bit more realistic looking. You know, I, I mean, and I just think I they knew know. they were like, you know what? We're just going for the camp, dude. Yeah. I mean, come on. The, the town's name is Snowman. Snowman. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, another bitch I have the dead body when they find the old man. <laughs> yes. And he's you rocking can clearly the old time. See, no, no, no. Well, not just that. You know, he's back with his mouth open. You can clearly see that it's like not. It's fake. Like you can, you can't right, right. see up his nostrils. Like you see how it's just like blocked off with latex, and like the mouth was mm-hmm. open, but you don't see like you can't see past. Yeah, you just can't just see past just, the teeth even. Yeah, yeah. It's just fucking latex. That's all right. <laughs> I just the whole time I questioned. I'm like, why is the body rocking? And then they're like, and then I was like, I'm not fucking loose. Dick move. Yeah, right. but I mean, even yeah. even the design for the body to me was was pretty good compared to the design of like the snowman. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't know, man. Like like I said, I just it didn't bother me. Like I just No no no, you know not how at all. Hokey it is, not like, at all. It was campy. Like I said, this is it it wasn't bad. It for what they wanted to do, they they pulled it off. So you know they wanted to make a campy movie and they did. The, the scene where like he was killing the one wife where he ends up like putting the ornament in her mouth and shit like that and strangling her I loved how he was like hopping behind her and shit like that, dude. Like, yeah. You finally like you can really see like what he can kind of do. Yeah. And I was just like, dude, the fact that he could just instant like, but once again, like, why just snowman? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why yeah. not? Why not humanoid form at that point? Like, 
But who knows? Chad Daddy, continue, sir, if we got anything else. Writer director Michael Cooney did the voice of the man who tells the story of Jack Frost over the opening credits. Which was a very I like that. Wait, yeah, that was I cool. did like yeah. that. I didn't like the child of the the voice yeah, of the child. child, child. child. Yeah. That was very really annoying. annoying. Yeah. I can't remember where I saw it, but I somebody talked about this movie and they they listed the actress who did the voice for the and she was like a grown woman and I can't remember what who it was. Oh, you could it. tell it was, but it was just yeah. really yeah. bad. It was yeah, so bad. It was. I think Dead Meat actually talked about it and he hated this movie. <laughs> <laughs> no. He, that. he yeah. <laughs> It was pretty. I mean, listen, dude. I'm, I can't shit on it completely. I will shit. No, no. It's there's there's far worse movies out there than this. Oh, in like Ginger house. Dead Man. In Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. The film was shot in 18 <laughs> days. Okay. And it, was, right. it was also shot on short ends. I don't know exactly what that means. So maybe Brody might know what that means more. Soon Definitely seems like some kind of filmmaking yeah, right. lingo that we're not privy to. Uh, the stunt sequence with Sam and Jack Frost falling out of a window and into the back of a pickup truck was actually done in one single take. Oh, oh shit. Hmm. Impressive. They didn't have Did- antifreeze to spare. Budget was over. Yeah. Did anybody yeah. else? That was oh, green cool that, that was on. another that was another scene that killed that fucking pissed me off because there is no way in hell they were gonna live through that if that was pure no increase. that's what i was thinking i was like oh the sheriff and that other kid are literally like they just swallowed at least a liter of fucking the shit so they're dead dude I mean, and yeah. What the fuck yeah some kid? of that would have got that in their mouth absolutely if the sheriff or anyone the would have eaten that fucking oatmeal that he fucking made <laughs> yeah, like right? what the fuck you that would have been a bad bad day like he couldn't be that dumb. Like there's no uh, he was trying to kill his dad. Funny enough, when the dad, like when he looked at it and he thought about throwing it out, my wife's like, "Would you throw it out?" And I was like, "Yeah, I probably would." She's I like, would "You wouldn't away. eat it?" I was like, "No, not really." I'm like, "It looked like ass." Like I don't it know. What like, they yeah, like, like just the look right? of it, I wouldn't well, want to li- try it. Literally, when we got to that scene, I looked, I turned to her, and I'm like, "Uh huh," and I'm <laughs> the bad dad because I threw out the <laughs> ass and fucking oatmeal that would have killed me. That's what Thank I thought you. too when it when it first got on. I'm like. What the fuck did he put in that oat that he's burning? She's like, I would at least have tried to bite. I'm like, and you would have been in the hospital. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. When he, said was, when, he, when he said it was burning, I thought, well, is it like full of salt or something? No. Yeah. Fucking anything. Oh, that would have been a good way to say which would have been with yeah, salt, that would have been a good salt way against yeah. the snow ice. Yeah. Could have went that they, way. They didn't yeah. even try that at all. And there was a scene yeah, with salt a, when the guy showed up with the He had a ton of rock bag. salt. He, the guy yeah. said he just like a, had like a huge shipment, shipment of rock salt. Yeah, hmm. I honestly, first time watching, I think that I thought that that's what they were going to say. But let's all for. plug in fucking blow dryers because that's fucking yeah. logical. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, I love that scene, dude. I don't give a shit how much you shit on that scene. <laughs> you could just throw, you could have just thrown water on him for God's sake. That would have taken yeah, a lot of at least too. reform. It could have bought you some how? time. You couldn't rig up. A they just wanted the blow me one liner. They knew what they were doing. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> blow me. There were so many other things they could have done, but I mean, I, 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 all right. Brody asked, "Did anyone or everyone notice when they bury the coon at the end? <laughs> someone is in the background is putting some in their car." I did notice is that, that. How he comes back through? The, oh, I don't know. It could be, but I did notice that. Never watched well, the second one, Brody. Well, so. well, I don't. How? Well, think about it. if you're putting coolant in your car. I don't really think it's going to be good enough for him to come back. Why not, dude? It's running through a he's motor. Like, I feel like he's yeah, like that. Gets dude. like really like any little bit. Problem. He could just be like, yeah, no, but like, remember when your coolant goes through your motor? Uh, that's not cold. That's going to. No, I know, but he's not. It, He's the only reason he's ever cold is because that's how he's solid form. Anyways, he's liquid. It doesn't matter how hot he gets. Like essentially he could be well, he did. They burned him. He literally became steam and then was just like, Yep, and I'm back, motherfuckers. What's up? But antifreeze so re- antifreeze doesn't steam. Not unless you have a hole. But it's still liquid form. It's still, it's still him in liquid form. I still feel like that's an easy, plausible way for him to come back in the second one. I, I guess we got to watch it to see. I don't know. I would think of it as a way as he's driving down the road and all of a sudden his car starts screaming. And it's like, huh, new antifreeze. Hey, maybe it gives him a new power. Maybe he has like antifreeze that he can just spit at people. Ooh. Acid spit. Snowman. Yeah. Well, the second one's on a tropical island, if I'm not mistaken, right? What the fuck? <laughs> same, same, <laughs> I'm pretty no sure. Idea, <laughs> same cast, pretty too. Sure. Oh, no. 
Is Shannon oh, yes. No, she's dead. Never mind. No. <laughs> I was going to say that it's not even worth a watch. <laughs> All right. What else we got, Chad? Okay. The rape scene in the first film wasn't originally intended to be this. It was meant to be just Jack Frost smashing Joe into the wall until she died. But when the movie got into the editing phase, the editor told the director, you know what this looks like, don't you? Due to the shot of the carrot floating to the surface of the water earlier in the scene, as well as Jack's carrot nose not being on his face during the scene. Rather than reshoot the whole scene, which was difficult to achieve as it was, the director went with it and quickly shot a few shots of Jack Frost making bad sex puns after Jill's death for continuity. Jesus. Mm. I mean, it's not wrong. Again, where is his nose? Yeah. So, but as a director, I would I wouldn't like sit and be like, "This is a brilliant idea to put in my movie." Yeah, right. right. <laughs> like right, honestly, so he- you could have just left it, and maybe only the editor would have seen it as that at that point. You know what I mean? It's possible. Yo, so gentlemen, for Jack Frost two, it's called Revenge of the Mil- the Mutant Killer Snowman. Uh, it takes place one year after the predecessor. The film follows Killer Snowman Jack Frost who is resurrected and travels to a tropical cabana to kill the man, Christopher Allport, responsible for his death. So, yep. Snowman in the tropics. <laughs> hey, man. I can imagine an actually yeah. terrifying scene in this movie if they would have went with it more. It, Which of that? him surrounded by a bunch of other snowmen that look like him. And they kind of, they, with the snowman competition, like they kind of set it up that where like, you could have done that because like you got the guy smashing the other snowmen and everything, but if he was in the middle of there, I feel like that could have made. I feel like eventually too they could like just expand his powers to where he could take over other snowmen. Yeah, you or I mean? split like... off his body into multiple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, just, he's water. I'm... He's a puddle. Just reform. Yep. I'm literally watching the first uh, five minutes of this movie to see how he really comes back. <laughs> according, to director, Chad, Daddy. according to director michael cooney the movie was filmed in 93 to 94 due to issues with financing he says it was not completed until 96 however it has been claimed elsewhere that the movie was filmed in 96 okay damn my little pop skeeps. all right uh, it sounds like got, buddy? It sounds like the guy's full of shit uh let's see just a couple other things where people like riff tracks did an episode on this Let's see. Was that? Oh, Rift Track? Okay. Uh, it's tragically ironic that Christopher Allport, who played Sheriff Sam Tyler, was killed in an avalanche. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yo, talk about... Jack man. said he would come back. <laughs> yeah, right? Hot oh, damn. That's terrible. Anything else? Let's but? see. Uh... <laughs> I think that's about all I got, just, you know, about uh, as Billy's making a combined oatmeal. Uh, beside him, there's a small marshmallow snowman with an arm off, foreshadowing that Bill Billy would get attacked by the killer snowman's remaining arm at the end of the film. Yes, which I felt like that was an easy tell, but I'm glad it still happened. But that's all yeah, I got. There was no much right. about this. I, I have a dumb question. It doesn't snow here, so I've never been on a sled. Okay. okay? Yep, yep. Are those know, things I... sharp enough to cut somebody's mm-hmm. fucking head off? Okay, okay, so the old ones like that? Maybe. Easily could, could be. be if you... Yeah. Because those ones were made to go down icier hills. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, they're an actual skate. They I have are, a metal one like that They downstairs. are metal ones, dude. Like, yeah. they are... And if you're talking 97, this is still before everything, like, has to be overly safe. And that was probably and it, had like, like, it had to have been a hand me down from a couple right. of generations. So this is probably a couple yeah. generations. So this is probably let's talk in like this is late sixties, early seventies sled. Yeah. That is straight. Yeah. That's not that's hardcore metal. I don't know and if that kid might sharpen plane. it up enough to get because it's ice run. You know what I mean? Like, so he's trying to get I don't know about to get that kind of a good cut, but at the same no. time, it would definitely kill it. Could like if you ran over it, a motherfucker. If you would, ran yeah, somebody it would kill him, but not Send his head yeah. through the air. If you ran no. him over and it hit him in the throat, it would probably give you a good slice. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Those can easily Oh god. I'm just Rub saying, it. I I mean, I've never even seen one of those in real life. You know, oh no. I mean? so I, no, we don't I'll send you a picture after we're done. I, I was gonna <laughs> say I you we used to have one. Um unfortunately the wood kind of rotted on it, so we chucked it. My aunt just refinished. They one. still sell them, dude. Yeah. Like fucking tra- uh, tra- a central tractor and shit, you can still get them that and everything like that. Yeah, but. it's just it's we don't 
I mean, we don't get that down here. Right. You know what I mean? So Those are specifically no... more for icy hills, like legit when you have ice. Now, if you yeah. got like nice powdered snow and shit, it's all about They're the useless. air tubes, homie. Yeah. You want to go air tubes? Uh, and then if you pack it down, you go to saucer after that. Like in my Robo. Robo says yeah. he, had an old, he had an old metal saucer and it was fucking dangerous. Dude, Home Depot still sells metal saucers, dude. They're only 14 I, bucks. I saw that and all I could think of was fucking Christmas vacation. Oh, Fuck God. yeah, how could you not, dude? <laughs> you ever want to throw some look, Pam on there? Silicone-based lubricant. And fucking. One I've day, done man. that, dude. Like, have you ever pammed a fucking sled? It's awesome, man. Like, you get okay, a nice um, um, grease down. So... I did it to a skateboard and it worked not as effectively, but still. Still, still so, slightly effective. Right. Nice. So Jack Frost in the second one, they're doing an experiment with some antifreeze. <laughs> oh, look at in that. In a lab. And apparently a drink spills in it. It turns to snow. And boom, he's back. Oh, my. Basic. So that he, just is needed more, he just needed more water, essentially, to reform. I forgot what the drink was, but it like spills in there, and next thing you know, it's um. I hope it's Gatorade so it re-energizes. And and, and it was in a, it was in a glass it was in a glass. <laughs> That's what I was just picturing. He's got the electrolytes it was, it now. Was, He's over. It was in a wait, wait, it was in a glass container. Brando. Glass contain the glass container broke, cut the guy's mouth right in half. So it's, nice. it's vodka. It was, a it was a snap. No, dude, it's got to be. It's got to be the light blue one, dude. What is that called? Isn't it like Arctic? Uh, Arctic, oh, Arctic glass. Yeah, yeah. Like, that'd yeah. Be perfect. Glacier dude, like, freeze. Glacier freeze. Glacier freeze. That's a perfect ad spot right there for like, <laughs> yeah. Gatorade. Like, then, then they would have had a bigger budget, <laughs> right? Glacier freeze reanimates the fucking killer snowman. Boom. It's Bobby Boucher's water. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's magic water. All right, gentlemen. What format did you watch this shit on? Pluto TV. Pluto TV. Peacock. What was that, Chad Daddy? Prime. Prime. And I went with Shudder. All right. And quality was excellent, by the way. Yeah, it was was pretty good. As good as it could be. Not like 4K level by any means. No. (laughs) No. So they had it on Peacock, too? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Was there ads on that? Or like if you got the... No? Oh, because you got the subscription bullshit. All right. No, I you actually don't, which is why I was surprised that I didn't have ads. Really? Yeah. Peacock I don't know if maybe they just weren't loading. I don't know. They usually show like certain ones. They'll show like an ad or two at the beginning and that's it. Yeah. yeah I, like, I, I no had shit. at the beginning, but yeah. that was it. That's awesome. All right, gentlemen. Douche of the film. Jack Frost. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> or the bully. Or the FBI agent. He was kind uh, of a no, dick. The FBI agent was, was kind scientist. of dick. I was going to say the scientist. I was, yeah, the, so? the scientist, I would say, because he was the one who's like, you can't kill it. It's like, Dude. yeah. Yeah, he was. He didn't have any redeeming factor at all. You know, so yeah, I'll the, the, the scientist. Si- I would agree with the scientist. Hmm. I'm going to go FBI guy. I still felt like he was douche here. I don't know. The bully was kind of a douche, too. I was like kind of cheering when his head got flying through the air. Right. <laughs> There's no wrong answers. They were all kind Which of I didn't see yeah. coming at all because I didn't think they were going to kill a kid. And they, yeah, <laughs> that was the yeah, fucking. They like, killed a kid. Yeah, that was like the first one right off the bat. Yeah, I loved it. The first kill, I was like, yeah. <laughs> the snowman pushed him. <laughs> Bing. Uh, nobody else noticed the snowman's arm just getting a boner like instantaneously. Yeah. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> There's three other fucking kids there. Um, favorite kill. Of Jack Frost. Oh. I'm going to go with that one. The, the, the sled decapitation. The, the sled decapitation? Yeah. That was a good one. Honestly, I like ornaments. Ornaments. Ornaments was yeah. good. Because she always wanted to be a Christmas star. <laughs> hmm. All right. She it's to definitely good. All right. At yeah, the she wanted. The tree. Yeah, the angel on top of the tree. All right. Mine is uh, Shannon Elizabeth. Uh, mm. Snow Raven. <laughs> <laughs> God so, damn, dude, I'm trying to think. It's because of the one liners. Like, <laughs> hey guys, what's the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? And a snow woman. No balls. Oh, no balls. <laughs> <sighs> I want to, you know, I feel like I might have to say decapitation because that was definitely the most abrupt and like one I cheered at, probably the hardest out of all of them. Yeah. Well, because uh, it ornament- happened like right away. You're like, what? Oh, the yeah. Fuck? Mm-hmm. Ornaments were, uh, ornaments was good. And even her husband, right beforehand of Deep Throat, oh yeah, was awesome. Oh yeah, that that was, was, oh, that was I like Deep Throat. The no, because I would, I would have gone with Deep Throat Axe, except I had one fucking issue. Go ahead. When he's laying there, the axe was straight. I know. Up. 
It's I know. Yeah, yeah, I but know. that's why I couldn't give it to Deep Throat Axe. It should have been the other one. He should have held the axe and went the handle down. So the axe yeah. was, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I don't know if any of you caught it either, but there was like a frame as he's falling where you can t- see that like the it, the axe is just like, it's it's only like that much of the handle. Like right. you could see it go in like that. They cut it just for that scene. <laughs> like it wasn't even a full axe in that single frame. It was just the small portion so that they could put it inside the prop. So, so it, was ha- it was very, it was very half axed. You think the tech? <laughs> ah! I wonder how far the dude could take it. Like if he had to keep cutting it a little bit shorter each time. Like ah, oh, it's too bad. She's like all right, cut it. so that's too, that's too much wood in my mouth, guys. When I did a Friday the Thirteenth photo shoot one time. Um, my friend Alex was in it, and I wanted to do a fucking machete kill, but through her mouth. So right. I got the machete, and I cut it. I cut the machete, and I said, hey, Alex, uh, this is going to sound weird, but how big can you open your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> she fucking put that fucking half of the machete, and I just held the other half of the handle behind the head, and we got the shot. Nice. So they could have done something like that, you know what I mean? And I'm no right? fucking badass fucking prop guy but I sometimes don't know. you just gotta think of the simple solutions man yes all right gentlemen uh best scene of 1997's jack frost hmm. i like the story at the beginning that was pretty cool yeah mm. i'm gonna say him actually getting like the whole like chemical dump like the him like essentially the in, the yeah scene, which will be the next question but yeah the whole him of like him fucking with the cops Killing like killing that cop in the back, getting the smoke, like setting the precedence for how badass he is. Can I get a smoke? Yeah, right. <laughs> he's got he's got the fucking crazy eyes too, man. Like yeah, he does that shit fucking great. I agree. Yeah, I agree with Johnny. Favorite scene for sure. I don't. I, I I don't know. I don't. I don't really have a favorite scene. Um, which is fucking weird. <laughs> Mutated mongoloid snowman. <laughs> uh, I, maybe maybe the scene where they're fucking uh where he fucking rolls in and then he's like hey jack you got a 710 split or whatever like just oh, that, that like that scene with the, the people <laughs> that, that were still alive the blow dryer scene yeah yeah the blow yeah. dryer scene i forgot yeah. about that that was that would be my runner up for best scene because how ridiculous. look mom yeah it was ridiculous God, so. as fuck it's fucking ridiculous as shit but i fucking love that scene i'm glad they showed the knot of wires though them like dragging yeah it, you know what i mean because yeah. i'm yeah. just like how the fuck do they have this rigged? Just oh, an extension okay. of a bunch of yeah. extension cords. Fucking plan that shit out, dude. All right. Everybody answer that one? Do we get everybody? Yeah. Sir. All right. Opening scene. Hook you in. Yeah, yes. So. Yes. Definitely as for me. Yeah, it was it was really cool. And it was really cool because it was shot. I mean, there was nothing fancy about it. It's like they just made all these little fucking ornaments with the names on it and told the story behind it it was really cool yeah and it was just enough to bring you in you're like all right caught up to speed here we go yes sometimes that's all you need most attractive character Jen, Jen elizabeth. Jen elizabeth come on Jen elizabeth is that even a question right <laughs> score set the mood yeah I yeah, actually yeah. like all the Christmas yeah, music in there yeah. and shit, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah, like metal and even some of the, the heavy cool. guitar parts that were trying to transform the Christmas songs was pretty good it was yeah. still way more. It was actually a Christmas movie in comparison to last week's, once again, yeah. which is not a Christmas movie by any fucking means. And for not some reason, all. still gets included in Christmas movies. Yo. I'll be right back. I got to help my 13 year old lab up the steps. Sure. Yeah, absolutely, bud. Do your thing. What's up, Ricardo? Shout out to my cousin, Ricardo. What up, man? Yo. Yo. All right, gentlemen. Best song. Uh, I don't think there was any, really. I, I, I mean, it was just Christmas know. music, and I honestly like feel like we've been talking about generic Christmas music for the last four weeks. So, yeah, you know, pretty much. Pick a Christmas yeah. song; they're all good. They're Christmas music. They fit, you know, goes with the theme. Favorite character: Jack. Jack. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, like the sheriff. Hard. The sheriff wasn't like I. I didn't yeah. hate him or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like you actually kind of like. I'm not going to say like you cared for him either, but it's, you no. know what I mean? like, Well, if all the characters, I would have cared for him the He most. wasn't a shitbag character. You know what I mean? No. Like, I, care, I care more now knowing that he died in a fucking avalanche in real life. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's <laughs> shitty. Yeah, that's, that's pretty shitty. fucked up. Yeah. All right. Was it scary? 
No, <laughs> it no. could have been. It should have yeah, been. Yeah, no. no. It, 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 it could for be. Laughs. It was played but for laughs. This was not. Yeah, it was not. It was never meant to be. All right, gentlemen. This could be maybe a biased question. Maybe it's not. But does it hold up today? Absolutely not. But I love it so much. <laughs> I would say. I would say yes because I feel like it was made. It was to made to be, be schlocky. It was made yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so I, so, I yeah. think so. Because it was made to be hokey in a way. So definitely. Does what it needs to do. Keeps it going. All right. So. Bum, ba, da, dum. How was the acting? The some, of it not, some of it not bad. Some of it you some can tell it people were. Green. Forced to be there. A little green. When the, dad, when the dad of the boy that got his head cut off was yes. yelling at the sheriff. Yes. There was like this long pause that didn't need to be there when he was talking. I was like, yeah, this guy's never acted before in his life. No. Nah. Yeah. Not only that, he was obviously not good at acting because if your kid just died, yeah, you're going to be angry. You're going to be a little bit more upset than that. You're going to be yeah, bawling mom, your eyes the, out. Even the mom. The mom wasn't even crying or hysterical or anything. She's like, you want to decorate? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't not – and not all of it was horrible. It's, it's watchable. Listen, it was better than – Brick and Amos from last week. So yes, once again, oh God, yes. I still thought yeah. those were the same guy. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> no man. How could you? One was the the Baker Butcher dude, and the other guy they look, was. They look kind of the same to me. The other dude was why. the guy who got, mi- got milk. We need at the fucking yeah. Anyways, let's see where are we at now here. Uh, cinematography. cinematography. Uh, Nothing to really uh, write home on this one. I feel like it was really no, not. No. It almost felt like a TV show, kind of like with the how close everything like was an old '90s and stuff. TV yep. show. I did, yep. I did yep. like, the, I did like the point of view shots from Jack, where it was like kind of a little frosted yes. over. That, yeah, was, yeah, yeah that was. Cool. I, I dug those. They were hilarious. Uh, did I any like of you catch? Kind of oh. Fit with it. What's up, buddy? I said, did any of you catch the one like when he's wrapping the or like the string of lights around her neck? The camera does like almost like a Snapchat, like triple zoom in on his face. And I, I, (laughs) oh, yeah, it was just so distracting. And it pulled me out of that scene just a little bit. I was like, that is, that's campy. (laughs) They wanted to show those animatronic eyebrows to Uh, show that he was furrowing them shits. (laughs) It really was if somebody like took their like phone camera and just like slid up to zoom (sighs) like twice really quickly. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Fucking A, dude. All righty. So, and the last main question here. Premise. Oh, no, girl. Yeah, I love the premise. Killer of the snowman. Absolutely. Yeah. Premise yeah. Is awesome. Yeah. Chemically enhanced killer snowman, dude. Yeah. Like that's it's fucking the turned into antifreeze. Yeah. And I, I'm excited to answer into this next one because that's where I want to go. So with that, recycle, rewind, remake, or reboot. Rewind, remake. but remake. Remake. I want to remake it dark. And remake it serious and dark, dude. Like, yes, yep. a horror movie. Maybe and maybe people would argue it's that's not what it's actually supposed to be. But it's like, dude, it has such a good story to potentially be that though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, do it. I'm gonna rewind it. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I. It's not the best movie, but I I liked it. It was campy. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll rewind. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll totally yeah. watch it again. But I would re I would remake it. Rewind and remake. Like if you had a top ten list, this I feel like this would be like maybe eight or nine. Yeah, this would be, be the very last. Like I said, one. it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the first, but it wouldn't no. be the last. Yeah, I don't no. even think top five. It would definitely be second five. It's it's like seven yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Seven seven's more than fair. All right, oh, gentlemen. Man, so would, just then, what would you put for like the top five? Because that's a tough one. Uh, well, yeah, we can think about yeah, well, number one. We are fucking rating this <laughs> shit. So yeah. <laughs> Chad Daddy, could you give you me know, your score? I was coming into this, you know, completely agreeing with the DKB. I had it in my head that it was going to be a 2.8. He brought 2.8. I'm going 2.8. Heard. Scoop Steve. 2.5. 5. Mr. Mone. 3.0, actually. Oh, oh wow. wow. All right, Jesse. I'm going 2.7. I'm somewhere in between. It's All not right. quite a 2.8 for me. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2.2. I don't personally think it's above a two and a half for me, but <laughs> it's definitely not in the one category. I'll give it that. No. Have you guys had one category? Is that where you put? Yes. Bro, our lowest low. one. Our lowest this, one. We had less. Point, point, four. point four. 
And that was Amityville 3D. Yeah. Amityville 3D. 3D. That was Brody's I never, favorite. I, I never listened to that episode because I've never watched that movie and I don't you want don't, to. Don't, don't do it. No, no, no. Go no, watch no. it. No, fuck you. You got to watch, watch it. You got to watch that go watch episode. It. Just watch the movie, then watch the episode just yep. to see Brody's reaction. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's fair. That was good. That was fantastic. All right, gentlemen. So our score for 1997's Jack Frost is... 2.64. Nice. Yeah. Fair that's a, that's a fair score. That's fair. Yeah. Yep. That, that fair. seems like that is right on the noodle. Shad Daddy, next week. What are we bringing in the new <laughs> year with? Yeah. Oh, we are, we are starting off the new year strong with our most talked about movie. You guys have been wanting it, demanding it. We are bringing it. John Carpenter's Vampires. Fuck the man. best vampire movie ever. I stand by it. Yeah. We will discuss that that episode. Yes, Fucking love it. Yes, so much. It's been uh, it's been a long discussed episode. It's going to be a circle jerk all around. So you yes. know, definitely come in and stay tuned for that. It's it's James Woods. How can you go wrong? Like I'm just telling Fucking you right, right now, Padre. my score is a five. I'm get, I'm telling you right now, it's a five. Like there's. Yeah. You know the <laughs> funny thing is the funny thing is I think this might just be the first time I've watched it since I first seen it in theaters. Damn! Wow, dude, I've watched it like. Dude, you're gonna pop wow. your cherry again, bro. I'm gonna kind of, yeah. I have it on VHS. I think I'm gonna watch it on VHS just because. Ooh, nice. I want to watch it. Yeah, in VHS. Padre. Nice. Yeah, I'm say Padre wood? for a fucking week uh, after a little, wood? Wood? <laughs> a little mahogany. I got, I got the, I got the DVD, and yeah, I'll be having a good old mahogany wood. Oh no, shit! Where can we find that? We got to figure that out. Uh, let me, Buy the DVD, uh, bitches. You know what? Well, I will look up that, Chad, and if you guys... I'm looking it up. I already talking, got it up. Oh, yeah? It's on? Yeah. Hulu it's Premium. Hulu. It's, a, it's stars. It's, it's a stars thing. That's stars. Motherfucker. But yeah, yeah, so you can rent it. Uh, you can rent it on YouTube, yeah. So, yeah, I think we'll be all right. Voodoo, all yeah. Right. I'll, I'll probably get it on Voodoo. Hell, yeah. <laughs> Same. All righty. So, gentlemen, let's get nerdy. What are we going to talk about? We're at an hour before, and a half. Minutes, so. Before we get into a deep dive discussing what I know is on everybody's minds with the announcement yeah. of the Ghostbusters 4K set, I would like to say that NECA surprised everyone with a Christmas Eve announcement Fuck that yeah, they're they doing did. a Krampus figure for next year. Yes. Okay. Very so excited. We did, I did my Krampus episode on Friday, right? Yes. I did a list of the top 10 Krampus movies and I just pulled this list off of the net and they had their number one Krampus movie, meaning the best Krampus movie out there. Please don't be rare, rare exports. It was rare exports. The movie's was garbage. Was it really? It was. I, I don't know. And I was like, okay, so I don't agree with this list. I'm just reading the list to you guys. But I know that we shit on this movie on the Gore and More podcast, and I don't know why they have it as number one. Dude, uh, there's a lot of people that really enjoy that movie. I wow. know, and it's terrible. I just, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I still feel there is worse ones out there, but that one was. I uh, did. I, 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 was slept, bad at I the slept end. through at least 10 minutes of that movie and didn't miss a damn thing. That's fine. <laughs> um,. Yeah, but back to nerd news. But yeah, yeah so. NECA is bringing out a Krampus figure. Uh, let's see. Uh, just says the holiday season of 2022. So it's probably close, still in the almost in the blueprint early blueprint yeah. prototype stages. Uh, yeah. As far as I'm hoping we get a nice little assortment of uh, his little minions. The minions. Yeah. You know, at the very least, you know, you're going to get the little gingerbread men. Well, if, I, all right, I, I will say this. If we get the ultimate Krampus figure and we don't get those with him release a set with all of his yes. minions then yeah, yeah. That'd, that'd be yeah. Cool. so actually that would be better instead of giving him minions in the figure give him his own box and then give me a set of his minions that's you know bigger which would be we'll get perfect. the bell for sure in the box yes yeah you'll get the bot you'll get the bell with you'll get the them face mask minions. Maybe yeah. the you know, fucking, I would, uh, NECA would pro NECA will probably even put out like a snow globe and the bell and things like that <clears throat> yeah like almost a that'd one to one replica that would be, That'd be a nice little. I'd buy it. Little oh, me too. Definitely. I've I've seen I've seen the Bell ones around <laughs> before, and I really want one. Yeah, nice. I look good on a tree. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah. What else we got, nerdy gentlemen? Just dive. Chad, right Eddie, you were it. mentioning box sets. Uh, yeah. So you guys want to start uh, talking about this uh, badass Ghostbusters? box set that we got coming out and the biggest news of course is that there is a preview cut 
of the original film that's going to be included on it with alternate takes, additional scenes, and early effects. Uh, it's, we don't know exactly how different it's going to be. And I'm guessing like early effects means it's kind of in the unfinished stages. But we're going to get a different cut of the original movie. There's nice. also... 19 never before seen deleted scenes from Ghostbusters 2 that are going to be included as well. Hell yeah. So it's going to be pretty. To throw onto that shit salad, I'm I'm going the bold route, but dude, the prices right now are already increasing at normal retailer options. What the fuck? It started at $80 and now it's already up to $140. And I don't know why. That started. I've only seen. I've only seen it mentioned being about 150. I didn't see 80. It started. At, no, dude. My brother-in-law picked it up for 88 bucks on pre-order, and I'm like, really? What the fuck? And I should have did it. And I was like, ah, eh. because here's my problem with this. And I feel like retailers are trying to do that just because whatever. But it, I feel like what's going to happen is just like with the Friday 13th box. Everybody's going to go ham over the Friday 13th box, and they did it because they were like, oh, you're never going to be able to find. Dude, I still find that shit in stores. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. it's not yeah. that hard it's, to fucking find. No, it really so is. So that's why I'm like, yo, dude, I'll literally just wait till this shit hits store shelves because they're going to mass produce mine... it because it's afterlife. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. Sony's going to get their fucking money. Yeah, it's not. It's so, not a limited edition set in any yeah. in any way. So no. that's why it's like everybody's hopping on this pre order thing, which is cool. I'm glad, but I feel like I can easily just go to Target and get it. Like, oh yeah, because I found yeah. my Friday the Thirteenth gift set after it was sold, or the box set after it was sold out online. I found it at fucking Best Buy and picked it up there. For yeah, Best Buy, yeah, Best Buy has had them. Yeah, I got it. Bucks. I got it a couple, almost like a month or so after it came out for I think 115 on Amazon. Yeah, so it's, I, I, it, I was the one who did the pre-order for that, but that's also because I got the extra shit, like the posters. No, that, I, I, I'm that, not knocking that's pre-orders the, no, no, by any means. Oh, absolutely, dude, like, like that's the shit that I wanted with that. But with this, if the pre-order is like all of a sudden like going up like e- easy, like don't do that. Because here's it's the cool thing: is like order, but I don't on. actually have a 4K player, so it would entice yeah. me to go get another 4K player, which is fine. But I'm gonna go drop 150 bones on this fucking bitch, and then another hundred bones on a fucking, you know what I mean? Like now I just got two hundred dollars essentially in for like one movie. I already have the other ones on Blu-ray. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it yeah. would look. I'm not gonna say it's not a cool on the shelf item by any fucking means. But I just See, don't I don't have them on Blu-ray, but I do have them on these. I still have the book too. I Yo, don't know if any of y'all got see, the okay, book. So straight up, I will fucking I don't care what anybody says, and I know Blu-ray looks amazing and it's a great format and all that shit. But dude, Blu-ray shit will never fucking touch DVD menus of old. No, and fuck no. Like, cause those menus right there, and the first one, it's the city, and you see Stay Puff fucking running through, yep. and it's play. You know what I mean? Like, it's just yep. a fun yep. little menu. Second one's a statue, there. but dude, you get the Blu-rays, and it's just a still image of the guys against the car. Okay, but and it's like in defense of the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray did come with a PS3 theme. Yes, I'm not. Listen, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not knocking on the Blu-ray. I'm just right. saying, like. I just feel like Blu-ray companies for menu-wise, I wish they would do it like old DVDs because old DVD menus are, were insane, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like if you go back to like the first X-Men on DVD, dude, when that oh, shit yeah, was like I have that through, too, bro. Right, that shit was taking you through fucking all everything and the crazy. Should, like, take take a look at the uh, the House of a Thousand Corpses DVD. Yeah, we were talking best about. One, like, yeah, I mean, oh, man, yeah, we, we mentioned fucking, that numerous yes. times, dude. Yes, that's, best that's one of the best ones, hands down. down. It's. I just wish they would do that more. I don't. I doubt it's going to happen in this one. It would be a cool. Um, I'm sure you guys also saw all the flack with Fee giving Sony. Yeah. On the fact that, oh, blah, 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 you're not having it, which then now Sony has announced that it is having it. So it Only makes me as wonder, a digital copy part. But it makes me kind of wonder if they were already planning on potentially including it and they just never gave the chance. And so he just fucking whined about it. Or they're only doing it because he whined about they're it. They're doing it because he whined about it. That's, that's what I. That's what my. That's reason. what I. That's what I want to take it as. You know what I mean? Because that's how it seems. Yeah. But I can't help imagine that, dude. If you're going to pay 150 bones, and I know the 2016 has nothing to do with this saga. You know what I mean? Like it's still like that's nothing to necessarily. That's not really a hard thing to throw in. Here, here's, oh, hey, here's, I missed here's, this. They actually, they're actually including the TV version of the film too. The first Ghostbusters. Oh, nice. TV edit, sweet. Yep. So 
the 2016 version for me is a fan film. It's It's a a fan film. That's all it is to me. You know what I mean? Like, so I have my Friday the 13th box set, but do I want Vengeance and Never Hike Alone in there? Fuck no, no, dude. Because it's not canon. It's not fucking canon. Just like 2016 Ghostbusters is not canon to our Ghostbusters. I'm sorry. And it it has nothing to do. And like I said before, has nothing to do with them being women. No, at all. Yeah, no. Had also, they made this it's a because cont- the movie was garbage. Had they made it a continuation <laughs> of the original? Cool. New scientists picking up where the boys left off. Cool. But you fucking rewrote everything and made it a feminist movement. The fuck out yep. of here with that bullshit. Well, it's not even that. Yep. It's Feig himself, dude. Because he wants to do that, and then he came out with another one saying, "Oh, all these people were attacking me over Christmas." It's like, bro. You did this shit right during Christmas yourself. People yep. are not going to not respond on Twitter. But, but you know what not, I mean? Like, you're just an idiot. The worst, yourself up. Yeah. the worst part of it wasn't the fact that, you know, it was the fact that the director himself said, this is my movie. And if you don't like it, you're a misogynist. Like, no, we're allowed to not like your movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're you know, in like, an age where, a misogynist. We're, guys, we're in an age where you mm-hmm. either like what somebody else likes or they hate you or they don't like what you like. You hate that. No, I'm not oh, saying that's and us, they'll cancel that's, your ass. that's yeah. exactly what it is. But. Listen, that's the, listen. That's the same deal with Halloween Kills. There's a lot of people who hate it, and a lot of people <laughs> like it. It goes. I back still haven't met somebody who said they loved it. Hi, I did. I didn't loved it. I what? did not. Loved? I did not. I hated it. it was, I didn't yes, hate it. We, can, we can have this debate it. all day, but some people love <laughs> Dude, Halloween Five, the only, and they give Halloween Kills a lot of shit. So Dude, I suggest the only we, good part. We're gonna save this for another time. You're gonna cut it there. <laughs> the only good, the only enjoyable there. part was Big John and Little John. They were the best yeah, part. Of that really? Movie. Because that part, they they were. I, just, I did not I like love them, them at all. I thought they were hilarious. They were hilarious. They were. They were given entirely. I like the, I like the killing of the kids time. and everything like that at the uh, at the playground and shit. Yeah, like I would have uh, the silver shamrock masks. I, yeah, I would have rather the the old couple gotten more screen time than oh, the old time. couple was fun. That was too. a sweet couple though, dude. Like that's yeah. They were. But I'm saying they. Man. I would have give the, give them the the length of time that Big John and Little John got on screen. I can get that. Yeah, because dude, I want to see them playing with their drone more. Yeah, drone exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, I want to see reason, Michael flying that thing. Literally, the only reason you saw <laughs> them as much though was because they were in the Myers house. Yeah. Correct. But um, anything else, nerdy gentlemen? That we want I didn't find about. I didn't I find anything eye grabbing to really bring up myself. That's me. Anybody else? I no, didn't really. I didn't even look for anything, man. But that I didn't I haven't seen anything that's like, oh my god, other than the Ghostbusters stuff. Oh, you, you guys might get a kick out of this. So um a couple of days ago I went on to uh eBay because I I don't know why. I've always liked the character Sleepwalker from the old Marvel comics. I thought it was a really oh. cool thing. And I got in you know, a bidding war on ebay for a, a whole big lot of the issues it's like issues two through like 22 mm-hmm. and i won and it was like eight bucks nice. nice and i have issues two through seven so this is this almost completely completes my collection of the ones that i and don't you know have. i had completely forgot about that character until it was brought up in the chat and like, so yeah some completely shit. because he's such an obscure character but i remember i fucking loved that character back in the day such an awesome design of a character and mm-hmm. d- i really hope at some point disney plus looks at it and says hey you know we could do man thing or sleepwalker and you know bring horror into the sleepwalker it came out right at the same time as the character of dark hawk um he's like an alien that lives inside it's uh, marvel it's mind and he yeah, can only come marvel. out when he's asleep what was his name again? Sorry. Sleepwalker. Look, all right, keep going. So I'm walk, I'm looking him up because I've never heard this character. I don't have to, any don't of you find Jens. He was in the uh, Hawkeye. What the fuck, dude? He looks just like um. He was in the Spider-Man Legacy animated of Kane. series, wasn't he? Was he? I think he was in the animated series in the '90s. I want to say he was in a couple of those episodes. I don't think I don't remember. I don't remember. I, but I remember seeing him in animated form on one of the animated shows. Dude, he looks like Soul Reaver from fucking Legacy of Kane. Right? Yeah, Isn't like, he cool looking? <laughs> What's that? Isn't he awesome looking though? No, he does, dude. Like, especially you know, that's well, I just sick. like I've the never purple seen on him blue, before. like with the like I said though, he looks like fucking That's a game awesome. they need to reboot. Soul Reaver? Oh, yes. Dude. Yeah. I fucking Fuck love yeah, that bro. game. That was fun as hell. That was when vampires were dope. Um I don't even remember if I finished that. <laughs> fucking sucking blood from twenty feet away from your yeah. hand. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> fucking hey, dude. That's that has big power. gnarly claws for hands. 
Bobby, right? are you mad? Three. Are you mad because mm-hmm. you don't like Halloween, Bobby? No, I'm reading. Sorry, I'm reading and trying to find some <laughs> shit. Here. Listen, Listen like you guys can hate it all you want. <laughs> <laughs> still, That's good because you're not going to change hate my it. opinion. I don't hate <laughs> it. I don't hate it. It's just not. Well, here, good. listen. Here's what I'm going to say. As Evil as guys. There, there are some <laughs> people who like some shit entries in that film series, yet will shit on this. That's all I'm going to say. I like the memes where it says everybody but Evil dies tonight. Very <laughs> much. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm man. look. I'm looking at. I'm trying to get more. I, I'm trying. No, to that's awesome. Though. Newsworthy yeah. shit. Uh, obviously, we got our last episode of Hawkeye. Yeah, I was. Just, I was just about to ask. I about still that. haven't watched any of that yet. Oh, well, really? We can't talk about that then. Well, Never no, started, no. Started, There's some good stuff in there. And I was like, eh. uh, honestly, you got to I enjoy it. Finish it. I, I liked it a lot. I need to. I need I to. Stay, I need to watch Black Widow though, because you know. Yes, you oh, do. You oh. seen Black Widow? Black. Yes, you do. Book of Fett. Book yeah, of that, yeah. that I gotta week. yeah this week this week baby that I gotta watch that's for sure oh yeah definitely hmm all right mm. so is that about it gentlemen shall we I think that's I think it. that's it I think that's it for this week then all I right think so so uh catch us then for next week episode which will be the start of the new year yeah. with John Carpenter's vampires. Uh, so just get ready for a circle jerk. Probably going to be a perfect five. If not, I'm going to say at least a 4.8 out of five. Yeah, yeah we'll be coming in hot. Lowest. Oh, yeah. We'll just round high. it up. Then we'll just round it up. There you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Chad, Dad, you want to start us off, bud? And we'll go fucking, we'll go clockwise. Yeah, so this is your dark lord of knowledge, your Chad Daddy saying, I'll see you next week, bitches, and happy new year. This is your host with the ghost, the prince of the paranormal, the duke of the dead. Lord Scoop saying, see you later, bitches. This is your killing machine by me moan saying, stay tuned for new cosplays coming in 2022. I'm fuck Ooh. your world up. And Machine Shop. And Machine Shop. Bologna <laughs> Money. How you doing? Jesse? This is your young buck, Jesse, from B4L. <laughs> <laughs> and, Bring uh, it next uh, time. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say, fuck you very much. <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, not so mean, Fluff Nasty Supreme, Big Johnny D saying, adios, Gorehounds, and stay fresh, cheese bags. Yeah. 